today we're going to go through the process of replacing the gimbal on my DJI Mavic Air 2. We had a bit of an unfortunate incident with a tree branch and the gimbal definitely broke when it hit the ground. Fortunately the replacement is a very simple process, albeit an expensive one with a couple of small caveats which we will touch on in a bit. To start off, let's go ahead and remove the bottom plate. This requires a 1 16th hex bit for the 6 screws that hold it on. The caveat I mentioned a moment ago is that replacing the gimbal yourself is going to lead to a few issues. When you first power on the drone, you'll notice that the gimbal will not point forward. This is a very simple fix and sometimes can be done by manually calibrating the gimbal and the app itself. But if yours is too far out of spec, there is a way to do it by connecting your drone to your computer, which I'll touch on in a second video. Once all six screws are removed, go ahead and remove the bottom plate and the small black cable guard in front of the ribbon cables. Detach the two ribbon cables that are at the front of the board and then move on to unscrewing the gimbal assembly itself. The gimbal is held on with six screws, four 1 16th hex screws, and then two tiny T5 torque screws at the front of the gimbal assembly. Once all six screws are removed, you'll want to lift the assembly out by pushing the front of the assembly back while pulling up from the rear. The front actually slots into the body of the drone slightly and helps align everything, so you have to slide it back out of that little groove first before it'll come free. Putting in the new gimbal assembly is just the opposite of removing it and is very simple. Just make sure not to damage the ribbon cables as you handle it and then place it down into the drone body, making sure that the front of the assembly goes in first and then slide the back down the rest of the way. Once it's in place, go ahead and fight with all six of the screws and getting them back in their respective holes. I highly recommend a pair of needle nose tweezers as it'll make your life much easier trying to get these screws where they need to go. Also, be smarter than me and fit one end of the tweezers into the head of the screw and the other side on the outside of the screw so you don't drop them like I did many times.
the last thing to do for the gimbal assembly is to reconnect the two ribbon cables onto the main board that's on the body. Simply line them up, putting the wider ribbon cable down first, and press them in with light pressure. If they don't want to easily connect in, do not force it. Reposition the ribbon cable until it is easily able to be pressed on. Once both ribbon cables are on, go ahead and put the black ribbon guard back in place and don't forget it like I almost did. It lines up with the four holes on the body and simply presses on. After that's done, put the bottom body panel back on with its six screws. With everything back together, go ahead and put a battery in and power on the drone. Your gimbal should go through its regular startup motion, but will likely end up pointing in the wrong direction. Depending on how much yours is off, you may be able to manually adjust it inside of the settings in the DJI app, but it can also be fixed by connecting your drone to your computer. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for the video I'll be releasing in a couple of days of that process, as it does require a few steps to get everything done correctly, and the Python script has changed with recent updates, so a lot of the older videos on it don't have the correct code to run. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, take care.